everyone. We are at, it says Asia Trek, but we're not at Asia, well, that's, we are at Asia Trek, but we're not at Asia, Asia Trek. We are at... Zoo Knoxville. We are at, is it Knoxville Zoo or Zoo Knoxville? It's Knoxville Zoo now. I thought it was vice versa. It's vice versa? Oh, wow. Okay, so thing number one is to figure out, we always get it mixed up. No, look, there, oh, you're right. I just see a banner up ahead of us and it does say Zoo Knoxville. So we're at Zoo Knoxville, you win. But we're also at Asia Trek, which is the new area with the gibbons and what's the other thing? Langers. The Langers. We're gonna go take a look at that. If you watch our vlog, you will know that we came here when it first opened up, but we're gonna go check out the zoo. And what is today? It's April 28th. 28th. So end of April. It's warm today, really nice day. It's just like it's that in-between time where it's not too warm, not too cold. It's dry out, so hopefully animals will be out. Hopefully we'll get to have a lot of fun and see things. Are you excited for anything? I'm ready to see Georgie. Who's Georgie? He's the gibbon, the, the blonde one. The blonde gibbon. So let's go take a look at it. So we're walking across the bridge, and if you can see over here, this is a tunnel to go to their house over there, but it looks like they have it that white insert in there keeps them from being able to go through the tunnels uh, so they must be out here in the habitat which I think I see one out in here they share the hab the langers and the gibbons share the habitat out here they take turns using it so we're gonna cross the bridge here and go to the lookout and see if we can find something I do see one of them out there a day do you think a tiger sleeps? 18. 18? Is that like teenager level? Is that like adult level? It's regular cat level. That's regular cat level? Mm -hmm. Is that like teenage human level? Like 18 hours of sleep a day? I honestly don't know. You honestly don't know? You're 14. Why don't you know? Because I don't keep track of how long I sleep. Do you think you sleep more than three quarters of a day? Yep. You do? On weekdays. On weekdays? On no, week on no, weekends. Oh, yes. What do you do at school then? You said weekdays. You ratted yourself out. So we've been watching the elephants throw dirt on themselves. Why are they throwing dirt on themselves? Well, I don't know really about the dry dirt, but the mud is like a sunscreen to them. Rhino rhinos are the same thing. So like, it, I guess it just protects them from the sun.
Okay, so we just saw the elephants. They were doing a bunch of tricks with them and all the tricks are made so that they can get them in different positions so they can check them out for like physical health type stuff like or like have to give him medicine or whatever and also like they were checking his feet because they they have their feet are like horses hooves they need to make sure they stay off the ground they don't get cracked um, they can have a lot of issues if their feet are damaged so it was really neat to see how they have them trained to do all these fun tricks to keep them healthy I want to know from you the last bit that we saw there they poured grape juice in his trunk and then he like it's not like you think like he slurps it up like a straw and then he has it he like shoots it then puts his trunk in his mouth and shoots the grape juice in his mouth how would you deal with that if you had to put liquids in your nose and then put your nose in your mouth and shoot it in yeah. <laughs> would you just go thirsty forevermore maybe <laughs> maybe what what would you rather if you had to do it would you rather water grape juice or chocolate milkshake um i don't know the grape juice might be kind of acidic it might burn a little bit your nose? Yeah. yeah, it's true. I never thought about that. I can't handle the chocolate shake though because I can't do milk. So I guess I'm left with water and I'd have the post nasal drip. That's so nasty to think about. Look at the little giraffe. So the zoo staff person was telling us that the the African painted dog running around, Gesundheit, running around is the dad. He's on guard right now. And there were how many girls and boy pups? Three, three and two. Three boys and three boys, two girls. Three boys and two girls. And then and the two. mom is just 18 months old and the babies are all three months. Okay, so that's really cool. So I, I'm curious, leave in the comment why when they're on guard, some animals it seems like just like look around and keep like watch. Why does the African painted dog actually run around and seem like it does laps? He's like on patrol. Dad, I named that one you. What? I named that one you. You named that one me? I think they said his name's Puzzle. I named it Darren. Oh. The mom's name is Swiss. Swiss? And I named the mom's name Margie. Last time that we were here, if you watch our blogs, when we were oh, here around Christmas time. time. Well, it was Christmas time, right? Yeah. So we got these cool. Stuffed pretzels. We got stuffed pretzels. So it's pretzel and it's got caramel stuffed in it, and they are absolutely amazing. And now they have and beer cheese. They have stuffed beer ones. cheese ones. So Matthew and I are gonna try the beer cheese ones, and Margie and the rest of the crew is sticking with the caramel ones. They were $1.99. That's not bad for inside like uh, like a venue like a zoo. Um, and because of our season pass, we also got um, a percentage off too, so good times. So, cheers! Alright, so I'm trying... There's not a ton of cheese in there, it doesn't look like. It looks like it's all melted down, but I'm gonna try this. Mmm. You really get the beer flavor. I'm not getting the cheese though. Like, there's just not... There's not a lot of cheese. You got a lot? Let me yeah. see yours. Whoops. 
You might have a little bit more, but not a ton more. No. How's it taste though? Like, then, do you like it? Yeah. Do you taste the beer? Yeah. How do you know what it tastes like? Oh, I don't know. That's the second time I've caught a kid today rat themselves out. No, he's he's just, we're just joking. We're joking for all you literal people. Joking. I like caramel. You like caramel? Is it delicious? Yeah. Good trip to the zoo. It was a fast trip. We just kind of came to kill some time. Um, great weather. Like everything's out. A lot of things, animals were active today. Um, really, man, I didn't get a lot of video of stuff I feel like, but we were just kind of trying to enjoy the trip. So, you know, you just have those times where you don't want to take pictures or anything. You just want to experience it. So, and sorry. It's our last trip. And it's our last trip because we're moving to Florida, so this will be our last trip to the zoo, um, at least for a while. So yay for Zoo Knoxville, they've done an amazing job. The red pandas were out today, it was really cool. Um, they haven't really been that close before, they're usually up in the trees or higher up or they're sleeping, but they were actually down in the, like, really close by on the ground where you could see them pacing, so that's really cool. Um, I don't know, do you have anything to say about the trip? Um, I love the new African painted dogs. The African painted dogs were amazing and you can see them, get up really close to them and have fun with them. Um, have fun meaning you can see them and, <laughs> and observe them, you can't get in and do anything. But uh, the zoo staff were out today too and they were explaining lots of things to us. Oh, the, I, the elephant training was fun to watch. The elephant training was amazing. I would say if you come to Zoo Knoxville and you see, like, if you see zoo staff members out, to definitely stop and ask some questions because it enriches everything a lot more, don't you think? Yeah. Like, and it makes everything more exciting for the kids, and we learned a lot too. Um, and just even like stuff that our kids have learned from times past that they they can see the animals doing certain behaviors, and they can say, "Oh, well, that's why they're doing this or doing that." So, very enriching, very cool. Um, I will say, if your kiddo has sensory processing, we have our little skies having trouble with the bugs today. Um, so that might be a thing. I'm not sure exactly what to do with it, that. So if you have anything in the comments, leave that below because that would be good to know as we go to amusement parks, what to do when there are bugs and you have a kid that's scared of flapping and bugs and different things. Yeah. Um, other than that. Yeah, we've learned how to handle all the other things, but the flying insects one. I forgot to say my pretzel. My pret Was your pretzel good? Oh yeah. Pretzel is amazing. My pretzel was really good. I will have to say before I was kind of saying that there wasn't a lot of cheese in it, but the flavor was really good. The cheese, as I held it, like kind of like, it seemed like went down to the bottom. Yeah, so the last, same thing with the caramel. The caramel, because like, yeah. the last few bites had a lot. Like the intersection in the middle had a lot, and then towards the bottom there was a lot. So um, I would definitely say A plus on the pretzels. That's a good treat. Um, maybe not so much with keeping blood sugars going, but they're really good. So I think we're off. We're going to go through the gift shop. We might show a few things in the gift shop, but we might not. Also, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to sign off here, and we hope we're helping you to nurture and grow your foster or adoptive family. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.